Hello, welcome to Citrus College's Study Abroad program. We offer both four-week intercession Citrus College programs during the winter and summer and 12-week semester programs through our consortium of colleges, the Southern California Foothills Consortium. If you are from our SCFC member colleges, you can find this information on the last page of the brochure. If you click here, you'll see uh, the colleges in our consortium and contact details as well. If you're interested in the Citrus Winter or Summer programs, such as Oslo, you can click this and fill out the interest form here and I will contact you. So why participate in study abroad? Well, there are many, many reasons. I would suggest Googling study abroad, doing some research. Ultimately, it's a unique experience that you can only do during this stage of your life. When you're no longer a college student, you won't have the opportunity to live in another country as a student. And why is this important? Living in another country, you'll start to pick up the rhythms of that culture, and you'll see the world perhaps a little bit through their cultural lens. This could fundamentally change how you see yourself, how you see your host country, and how you see the rest of the world, and our own country as well. So it's very important and something you can't gain through uh, being in a classroom here or on the internet. Study abroad experience is valuable to employers and will benefit your transfer applications to four-year universities. So if you click here, you can see the UC Merced statistics about study abroad. They've compiled a bunch of things. Check that out. Show it to your parents. <laughs> um, so notice that study abroad alumni, they have higher starting salaries, lower unemployment rates, they find a job faster after graduation, and they also have improvements in GPA. So why does this happen? Well, study abroad is something that will help you stand out from other people once you graduate. When you're in an interview, you'll talk about the job duties and relate them to the experiences you had abroad. If it comes down to you and another candidate, your study abroad experience may be that little thing that helps you get the position over someone else. The other thing that you have available to you now are resources as a college student. If you click on our programs, such as the Rome program here, you'll see information about financial aid and scholarships. So if you're eligible for the Pell Grant, the Cal Grant, or other grants, you can apply these to the program. That could be thousands of dollars. Additionally, you could also utilize a subsidized loan, which is a loan without interest, or an unsubsidized loan, which all students should have access to. Of course, disclaimer, I'm not a financial aid technician, so you'll need to check in with them about your eligibility for financial aid. You also have all kinds of scholarships available to you as a student. If you have the Pell Grant, I highly suggest looking into the Gilman Scholarship, which is through the U.S. Department of State, and they give out thousands and thousands of study abroad only scholarships every semester. Um, there's great scholarship and fundraising information video here, so be sure to watch that. This is a, a great worksheet to get you started looking at scholarships. And for essay composition, you should read Cassie Rubio's scholarship worksheet. And you should make an appointment with me if you're a Citrus student or your advisor, and we can assist you with your essay for a scholarship. The FEA scholarship here is also a very large fund that you have access to. However, it's only once a year. Okay, lastly, there are fundraising possibilities to consider. Students do bake sales, they do garage sales, spaghetti dinners, or GoFundMe. Anything you can think of. Again, we do a little fundraising workshop here. And if you click on meeting time, sometimes we'll, you'll see that we'll have funding workshops. Um, these are our regular meetings at the consortium colleges. I want to reiterate, uh, again, later in life, you won't have financial aid, you won't have scholarships, and I don't think you can do fundraising for a trip after you're no longer a student. So, again, this is really the time 
to do something like this and probably the only time in your life you'll have resources and the time to make this a possibility. I'll briefly talk about our programs. These are always changing because we go to different locations. We have to recruit faculty so the courses change as well. So check in online all the time. Here's our current offering of programs. Each page has a brochure. This is, again is the summer four-week program. So all college students can uh, contact me through the interest form. The semester programs have more courses available. So read the brochure. Everything's there, the courses and program details. With these semester programs, you can take an online course if something's not offered, but the online courses, they are a 16-week course, while the study abroad courses are 12-week, so it's a little complicated, but doable if you're organized. So all you need to do to qualify is have a 2.5 GPA and have completed 12 units of college-level credit. However, if it's your uh, first semester, we can give you a progress report. This is outlined here. You need to be 18 years old, so be sure to read that. And that is all I want to say. Get in touch with me if you want more information. Here's my phone number. Here is my email. And again, if you are from one of our consortium colleges, you can also contact your advisors and all their information is on our brochures. Okay, thank you very much.